It's called The Worry Saurus. And this is written by Rachel Bright and Chris Chatterton. Um, if you would like, make sure that you stop by today and grab some of the uh, Take It Make It bags. We do have a selection for you. Um, we will have today's craft and tomorrow's craft. We will not be doing a giving you materials for steam because that will be on at your own time. But we will have fun with that too. So let's get started. Let me do my adjusting. The worry saurus. On a hot and sunny morning, under a lovely clear blue skies, a little Worrysaurus was opening his eyes. Hello. He brushed his tiny pointy teeth, and then he washed his top and tail. He packed a little bag of snacks and set off on a trail. He skipped along with happy legs across the golden sand and thought about the day that he had plotted, sketched, and planned. What does it sound like he's going to do? A lovely yummy picnic, a delicious summer spread, where Resaurus liked it when he knew what lay ahead. But he hadn't gotten far, you see. It hadn't been that long before his busy head dreamed up some things that might go wrong. He had made it had had he made enough to eat today and brought enough to drink, this worry source often was the over the one to overthink. What if I get lost, he thought, or trip and have a fall? His happy legs were slowly to snuffly, shuffly crawl. Worry, Saurus, I liked it when he felt he was prepared. Unexpected things, unexpected happenings that made him feel quite scared. So when... My cat took a little nap, sorry. So when... So when suddenly, out of nowhere, a lizard skittered by, shouting in a squeaky yelp and pointed to the sky. I think a storm is coming. It's heard it's on its I heard it's on its way. Well, that really put a cloud above his worry sores day. A storm, said worry sores, when it's so dry and hot and sunny. But the news became a butterfly that fluttered in his tummy. I'm not ready for the rain, he said. I haven't got my wellies. His teeth began to chatter and his knees turned into jellies. And all the while the sky was blue, the sun has shone and shone, but now his lovely picnic thoughts were definitely gone. Should he find a cave to shelter or run back home and hide? His little worry butterfly grew very strong inside. But then he thought of something that his mommy liked to say. Oh, my little worry stories, chase that butterfly away. Don't you worry now, my lovely. You must try not to fret. If it's not a happy ending, then it hasn't ended yet. So he reached into his bag just then to find a little tin. It helped him with his worries. It, it had happy things within. A special stick, his teddy bear, a pebble, and a letter. And he held one by one, so everything felt 
better. Then he put away his tin and all the worries in his head, freed his little butterfly for happy thoughts instead. I'll stand up tall, as strong as I can be. I'll chase my fears away. It's a good and all is well and everything is okay. And with those little wordlings, he calmed his busy brain. Since the sun is shining, why worry? It will rain. So he shared his little picnic with the lizard in the sun, and they laughed at their worry and really had some fun. Since when you're in the moment, there's no need to run and hide. And then the only butterflies. will be the ones outside. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this cute little book. Again, this is The Worry Sores by Rachel Bright and illustrated by Chris Chatterson. So, for today's craft I have for you... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to have some coffee too. You are going to have two separate pieces of paper. So you're going to have this and you're going to have a piece of construction paper. So I'm going to put him on the yellow one. First things first, you're going to have to get some paint. Move your tail. No, everyone can see it. <laughs> so you're going to have to get some paint. And you could use... Uh, the, I don't have any Legos. Of, or Stella doesn't have any Legos. But we got a ton of bubble wrap. I'm losing their mind. So I'm actually going to take some of this. And just cut it. Just a little piece. So if you too do not have any um, Legos or anything textured that you want to use. So I'm going to use this for the, the uh, bubble type effect. You could use a wrinkled up paper towel if you want. You could use a sponge if you want. Anything that's going to bring texture to the paper. I'm going to use my bubble wrap. So, first things first, you're going to keep it just like this. You're going to get your paint. I do not have any paint. Or do I? I have a... Yes. I really need to stock up on some acrylic paint. So I can go crazy. Okay, so we're going to get that. You take your brush. And you get a bigger brush. I can get more. You can see I put it in water and pick any colors that you want. So I'm going to do an array of colors. See how it just on the top of that? And do not worry about getting it on, um, the outlines because we are going to be cutting the dinosaur out after we are done with the painting. And we're going to do this. Oh, I think this is going to look wicked cool, guys. All right. It is Friday. Are you guys excited to go back to school or what? I cannot believe vacation is already gone. Like, this week went by so slow, but yet so fast. 
It's absolutely bananas. Okay. Let's see how this ends up turning out. Get out of here. I'm going to add a little bit more paint, but look how that's turning out. Alright, so let me put some yellow. And also, today is our um, hot cocoa and uh, paint. I'm wicked excited. We're going to be drawing, not drawing, we're going to be painting a beautiful picture of spring. Just a little bit. I, if you haven't been watching my videos, been waiting for spring and I am wicked excited to do this and it's going to be that moment where we're going to paint and look forward to the next season. And we are going to be doing beautiful dandelions that we can make wishes off of. There we go. Make sure I get it all. Because I don't want to miss out on anything. All right. There he is. T-Rex. So now what we're going to do is we are going to get your scissors. You can let it dry first. This is drying fast. If you have more thicker paint, then do not worry. And again, it does not have to be cut perfectly. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> the idiots have lost their minds. They usually go on, um, morning rampages together when they just all, like, run back and forth, back and forth, and then slide into things and knock stuff down. We hear as cats. I know how that is. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm getting side-eyed over here. You want to come over here and say hello? She's like, no, I'm going to go behind the TV. <laughs> mm -hmm. And when you are done cutting this out... You're going to glue this onto that colored piece of paper. They're so cute with their little pitter patters. And... Thank you, Diane. Okay, now we have that. And then you glue it on. Or not. Oh no. I have lost my glue. Oh, spaghettios. When you think you're fully prepared, 
and it's not happening. Okay, well, it's fine. <laughs> you are going to glue this onto your piece of paper, and then once you have that glued on, you are going to um, cut out just around it, so you have that little pretty background. And just for the fun of it, you know how serious he looks? Very serious looking dinosaur right there. We supplies you with the most amazing things in the world. Googly eyes. So what you could do is put the googly eyes on the dinosaur. Since I don't have glue right now. And he will look like a silly goose of a dinosaur. And voila. Your craft will be done. Thank you all so much for joining me this morning. I hope you are having a wonderful start to the day. Um, I hope you have fun making this craft. And also do it with the other one that we um, gave you. That one should be really cute too. And you could put a Google Eye there as well. Oh my goodness, these kitties are going nuts. All right, I'm going to go before they, like, knock water all over my computer or something crazy. Thank you all again for joining me. Um, I can't wait to see you this Friday for our kid and hot cocoa paint time. It's going to be so much fun. Anyway, so stay, uh, keep a lookout for those emails today, and we will be sending that out with the Zoom link and all that fun jazz. Have a wonderful day. Bye.